Right, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be installing the oven. Well actually, I've actually got it in place. So we've got the oven in place. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful and I can't wait to cook in it. But anyway, we've got to fix that oven in place. What I've come up with is, the fact, is this. So I've got a bit of angle, aluminium angle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that to the extrusion at the back and then in the sides um, as it comes through the oven side of the oven I can just fix it in with some well I can I'll probably drill and tap it in so I prefer to you know make a really solid fix in um, so that's that side not a problem but then the other side is a problem so this side has a double thickness piece of aluminium on it. And so you can't put the angle iron like you do on the other side. So what I've done, so I've worked out the difference between the, so basically I've centered the oven in, in the opening. So the, oven, the opening's 530 mil wide from that point there to that point there and the oven's 450. That leaves me with a shortfall of 80 mil difference between 450 and 530, easy maths. Then I've taken away the 30 mil aluminium. That leaves me with 20 mil left. So obviously I've got a 20 mil gap down here and down here. Sorry, I've got a 10 mil, 20 mil, divide that by two, there's a 10 mil there and 10 mil there. And of course, I can't put the uh, angle iron down there. So what I've done is I've got this. I've just been and picked it up from a decent gentleman down at EJ Alloys. He's uh, been really helpful. Uh, I have bought some stuff online, but you know, when you want to just get, get a job done, you need to find somewhere locally that you can just go and pick this stuff up from. And he's lucky enough, he had this, and it's a one inch stock by 10 millimeters thick. Um, and I've just cut this to length at 435 mil on the chop saw, believe it or not, which I was quite surprised at. But and what that's going to do, that is going to slide down there, in there like that. So have that in there, and that's going to let us fix in the sides here and here into the aluminium, uh, and then we're going to put some see that I'm going to put some tea nuts in there we're going to drill and countersink some night I've got some countersunk head um, M5 uh, screws and we're going to fix that into there and then once we've done that we'll be in then be able to fix through here drill and tap it might have to get some different screws actually could be a trip over to AJ's um, so yeah so so far that's what we've done so we're going to get on and do that now. We're going to get some, uh, get a drill out and put some holes in this and get some countersinks in it. And then we can get it fixed into the aluminium and uh, move on from there. hole through that now and then uh counter sink it right so got this side drilled in that's fixed gives us a really nice clean edge down here we'll be able to fix into lovely but <laughs> once again Another little problem. So I'd initially thought we could just use the angle iron down there, but um, let's take that out and I'll give you a look. That's all over. Yeah, so that was the initial plan. 
and I thought that would be perfect but if you can see down there which you probably can now um, I've got nothing to fix into uh, I want to fix it in using the T-slot so I'm going to have to next plan use this which lucky I bought a metre of it and not 500 like I've tried to buy so that was a bit of a godsend really um, yeah so what we're going to do we're going to use that same as the other side really so we'll use use that the same as the other side and um, I think that'll work and then what we're going to do again we'll fix into that side uh, but obviously it involves more messing around so what I've got to do is go and get some more screws so I'm going to go and get some hardware now over at uh, AJ Fasteners and then we're going to come back and try and get this knocked out so let's go and get some hardware Right, so I've just arrived at AJ Fasteners. Got a bit of a queue going on here, so I have to go out there and get in the queue. And uh, I'll join you in a minute when hopefully we get some bits and bobs that uh, enable us to get this oven feed. So catch you in a moment. Right, back out of AJ Fasteners. Didn't have to wait too long after all. Right result. And uh, yeah, we've got some more nuts and bolts. So uh, let's see if we can go home and uh, carry on with it. I've made it's all drilled and tapped uh, just gives it a nice neat edge down there and, and enables me to fix into that now so just about get me centre punch actually it's in my other hand um, and we'll get a couple of pan heads in here it's going to fix the oven in good and proper but I think what we're going to do as well we've got these these pieces here where the gimbals should be I think I'm going to drill the rivets out and remove them because I think it'll look nicer. I was going to cut them, but I think it'd be easier just to drill the rivets out. There are only a couple of rivets here. So yeah, nearly done. Right, so good news, the oven's done. I can't believe it. So, I'm going to give you a look. I'm really chuffed. Because that was a mission beyond all missions so there we go as you can see we've got a nice little fillet down there and down there lines up really nice and it's <laughs> it ain't going nowhere it's fixed we've got these nice little uh, pan heads here drilled and tapped so we can remove it if we have to um, yeah we just shouldn't be too bad I can't see why we wouldn't be able to just lift it straight out of the top if we have to. Although I haven't tried it that way, but nevertheless, uh, it's in there. So, yeah, really chuffed. So, yeah, all in all, good week. So, we got that done and we got the toilet finished, which is sitting under there, not put anything in it yet. Um, but tomorrow is beach day, so. Yeah, that's it for the day. So uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye for now.